Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the new Google Polymer with Apache Cordova so that way you can build it and run it on any Android 4.4 KitKat device or higher. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to create a new Cordova project. So using the command line, let's go ahead and, and create one. Alright, the next thing we want to do is we want to add the Android platform. Alright, with that said and done, uh, the, fall, the next part of this tutorial is going to be heavily using Bower. So, as a requirement, you must already have that installed. So, let's start by uh, going to the Polymer Designer. We're going to go ahead and create a template to use in our app. Uh, let's go ahead and add the core scaffold component. We'll center that and make it nice. And then we're going to go ahead and add, let's, let's add a card. And let's go ahead and style that so that way it's, uh, let's say, 98% of the screen. And then let's move the margin over by 1%. So that way it gives it a nice centered look. So the next part is we're actually going to view the code because it, it actually gives us very useful code for our project. So with that in mind, let's go back to our project directory. And we're going to navigate to the www folder. Let's go ahead and open in our favorite text editor the index.html file. And we're just going to ignore it temporarily. Let's go ahead and create a new document because that's where we're going to copy and paste our code from the Polymer Designer into. So let's go ahead and just copy and paste into this new document. We don't have to, we're not going to save it. We're just going to hold on to it. So you can see that it adds a lot more content than what the designer leads you to believe, which is a good thing because it has all of our styling information. So like I said, we're going to be using Bower. So going back to our terminal, let's navigate to the www directory. And let's go ahead and do Bower init. And I just keep hitting enter. All the defaults are fine. Um, now that it's initialized, we can go ahead and start installing the Polymer uh, libraries. So adding the Polymer one is, is a must. That uh, you need to add that regardless on what components you're using. The one that follows that is, uh, since we're only using from the core elements, we can just do core elements. But if you're using the paper elements and stuff like that, you're going to need to add other, other libraries as well. So now, now that that's installed, now we can actually start copying and pasting some of our uh, copied code into our index.html. So, Let's start by copying in all the imports. So in the head, let's go ahead and um, start adding these libraries. Now our directory structure is going to be a little different because um, let's, let's go ahead and look at that directory structure. Because we added the Bower components directly into our www folder and our Bower components has all of the polymer elements that we that we want. So let's go ahead and we're gonna change all of this to Bower components. Go ahead and save it. And 
piece by piece, let's go ahead and, and start copying the rest of it. We're going to ignore these weird ones like template and polymer element because they don't, they don't play nice. We, don't, we only want the HTML type stuff. So go ahead and copy the style. We're going we're gonna to include the style after our import. And then the, when it comes down to it, we're just going to include the rest of our code here. And we can actually plug that right in the in the center here. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and plug it in right there. So let's go ahead and save it. And to see where we stand so far, let's go ahead and run it in our in our browser. So open up the Firefox and as you can see there's some funny business going on. So let's go ahead and oops. We want to go ahead and run this from a Python server because it it performs funny when we when we're not, when we're trying to run it from the file rather than localhost or some HTTP address. So from the www folder, assuming you have Python installed, let's go ahead and start a simple HTTP server. All right, that's up and running. So let's go ahead and try that. and it's causing us some drama with the Cordova.js. So it actually wasn't working because I forgot to add a critical script. Uh, I, ha I forgot to add the script uh, for the platform, which is kind of like the controller for all of our um, Polymer stuff. So with that added, inside of our browser, we um, have, have this, and, it, and it's responsive, so if you shrink it down uh, you have the full the full effect so back in our code let's go ahead and save it we have um, kinda everything added that should be added so let's go to our terminal and we're gonna actually build this Alright, with that built, let's go ahead and install it. Alright, when we open it, if everything went well, it should look pretty good. And it looks pretty good to me. So ignoring the speed of my simulator, um, it performs just like like we'd expect it to perform. And the great thing is you can go ahead and use this designer and design pretty much whatever you'd like, and it's it's pretty convenient. So just to sum everything up, what we did was we've uh, entered the designer from Polymer. We created a template, and then using Bower, we installed all of the Cordo uh, all of the Polymer elements that we wanted. And then we copied and pasted the the code that the designer gave us into our Cordova HTML file, and we were able to successfully run it in the device. And again, in order to test it on the computer, you need to be testing it from a uh, HTTP server of some sort. You cannot um, run it as a local file. It has to be 
through some kind of server and Python is usually the most convenient way for me. There's plenty of other ways to do it. If you like this video and are interested in seeing what else I have to offer, please subscribe to my channel as well as my written web blog. Thank you.